So when white people tell us, and you know I'm not racist, but when white people tell us, and not all white people have demonstrated racism, like not all, but you know, scientifically, we're not going to get there, but um, <laughs> white people literally have um made us out to look as if we are troublemakers, we're sinful, we're the devil, we're evil. Whenever we say no and turn away from a practice that's been done and um, acted upon by many other people that are white or other colors who follow the the white, you know, Confederate system that they have, whether it's going to school, going to church every Sunday or um, um, going to school for 12 or more years, you know, paying for paying for school and education that's free all on the Internet. People get all the information on the Internet. Now, anything you want to know is on the Internet. Why would you go to school for 12 years? You see, the system got people doing that. Now, when you step out of the Confederate system, like, for instance, Fantasia stepped out of the Confederate system. They laughed at her for not graduating high school and not having a GED. OK, but God had a calling for her. Her gift was her that was going to make her money to keep her financially stable for the rest of her life was not in no school doing that. It was what? Stepping out of the white confederate system. That's how God blessed her. Jay-Z did the same thing. Uh, Kanye West went to um, college, dropped out. It wasn't for him. The people knew his talent and he is now set for the rest of his life. See what I mean? People had this. Now, some people who, who did go to school, you know, they came out pretty well, but a lot of time was wasted because they were ready before they were even gifted a diploma or anything that was certified that they had the skill to do whatever they were required to do. So um, just think about how much the world can control you, you know, without you controlling yourself because you can control yourself. You control yourself. But if you're not careful, you will start to see that you're going to be going to work, staying on your feet. For all day, for eight hours a day, you're going to be going to school, learning about things that not only you need, but things that, you know, you also don't need that wasted a whole lot more time where you could have just told someone how to perform the duty that they desire to perform. Give them hands on experience. Tell them you're going to the field and you're going to learn this ASAP. All that math, reading, science, you got all that stuff in your mind. If you want to be a math teacher, a reading teacher, a science teacher, you go to school for that. But your major is, is different from what your electives and all the extra courses they tell you to take the, for credits just to get your major. Now, that's just now that's how you know that the white man wanted us to become enslaved to their long system. But really... We already had our own system built from within. If someone wants to be a doctor, if someone wants to be um, 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 a, a mechanic, you know, they need to do hands-on training 100%. No, we're going to do partial care and then do some math and do partial care and do some science, do some art, and let's go do some track and PE and get that heart rate up. No, we know how to take care of ourselves. We are here for one thing, but... They knew that having all these extra things added to the major in school would keep us grounded and controlled. Okay. Because if you are a singer, you don't need to go to school for no 12 years to learn how to sing. You need to have someone sign you so you can get paid for blessing other people with the talent that you have. You see, the most richest people in the world learn to step out of that confederate system. Okay. And then some people don't. So that's my reason to what I'm saying. But there's a master plan that people do not realize. And the master plan is already in the act. Trust me, we don't have to do anything. We can sit back and relax and just continue to watch what we see on media because it's all funny. You know, people are already playing it out. It's nothing we can do about it. I mean, we can help. But I mean, all the work that we want to see change. The fight that needs to happen is happening up underneath for our eyes right now as we speak. And it's been happening. It's been happening since 2001, before 2000, you know. So um, you see a lot of Black Lives Matter movement. You see a lot of Asian um, hate crime and things like that. But at the end of the day, they're trying to 
weight the people who are still in, I guess they would call it middle class or poverty, lower class or whatever, the people who are still um, not financially stable enough to skip, leave the system, leave the job, leave the school because they have already have enough money invested in them and into what they need um, in order to grow um, uh, responsibly and to be established. Um, so a lot of people think that going to work and going to school for 12 years and standing a few eight, eight hours a day, going to church every Sunday, doing the same thing over and over again, they some people think that is a form of establishment, but it's not. The people who really got established, who will never be broke again, are the ones that escaped the slave system. Church, school, what else? Church, school, every week, okay? Go to sleep, wake up, go back to work. You see what I mean? Slavery, you enslaved over and over and over. No, the most rightest people left the Confederate system and found their own way. They were like, wait a minute, because they're putting fear in your heart right now by telling you if you don't go to work, you're going to be poor. If you don't go to stand on your feet for eight hours a day and, cut and clock in, you're going to be poor. If you don't go to college, get education, you're going to be dumb. You're going to be this, that, and the third. But what about what you already know? What about having the Confederate system um um, um, encourage you and make you feel proud about what you already know how to do to get your ego up, to get your um, excuse me, not ego, but to get your um, self esteem up. What about them, you know, letting them know you've been doing a good job? You know, that helps a lot. Not telling them if they don't get this, they're not going to go here, they're not going to be blah, blah blah. They know everything that the school tell them plus more. They just ain't getting a degree for it. So you give a degree for who they truly are, which is black people, which is as. Because they say we're not, we're well, going to tell y'all right now, we're not humans, okay? That's the secret the government was trying to hide. We are not humans. We are the aliens that they they found life on life on Mars. There's, they found water on Mars. Any place that they ha has water is a symbol of life. Life is there, okay? Remember, we just watched the episode. I just watched the episode on TV. A guy reminded me. What's his name? Al Green. Our bodies is made of 96% water. So that's basically our, almost a whole freaking body. You see what I mean? So what part of life do you not get out of that? It's life in water. Yes. And then he also said what? Jesus turned water into wine, blah, 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 blah. The Jesus thing has been a picture painted overly, obsess obsessively by the white man to that we don't even know our own heritage and our history because we've been set in front of an actual white guy in a robe with long hair and sandals after he already done said nobody knows what God looks like God is a spirit yes he is but guess what the, the white church wouldn't tell us that we are gods some people reading the book of Enoch right now all the information is in the book of Enoch black we are black we were the first ones here we are the gods why do you think you go to Egypt and you see God like pharaohs and statues and things like that. They're wrapped in gold. They were gods. And we were the first um, species here on earth. First was black. Then it was other races. We were the first. Black was the first race started anywhere. So that's how you know that we are the true gods. 